वट इज गोइंग ऑन गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट कम्प्लीट म्यूजिक स्ट्रीम एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम स्क्रेच लाइक वी हैव स्पॉटिफाई यूट्यूब म्यूजिक एमेजन प्राइम म्यूजिक और एनी अदर म्यूजिक स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म विल स्टोर ऑल द सॉन्ग्स इन द क्लाउड एंड वी विल फेच ऑल द सॉन्ग्स इन आर एप्लीकेशन डायनामिकली एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द होम पेज ऑफ आर एप्लीकेशन वी हैव डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज सच एज इंग्लिश हिंदी पॉडकास्ट रैप and if you click on any category it will list out all the songs on that category and below we have different sections like trending classic and inside those section we have list of songs if you click on any song it will start playing we have beautiful ui with cover page all the player controls like play pause rewind forward playback speed we will have sign up and login features so that only the authenticated user can listen to our songs so you will learn a lot of things about android application development from this single video so let's start developing this awesome application from scratch So as of today I am using Android Studio Hedgehog version which is the latest one. Let's create new project. Click on new project. Select on empty views activity. Click on next. Give the application name I will say music stream. Select language as Kotlin. Minimum SDK let it be Android 8.0 and build configuration language let it be recommended one. Click on finish. So our project is ready. Let's run and check either it is created properly or not. You can see the hello world that means our project is created correctly. Let's get back to the project. First thing we'll do is we'll start designing the main activity. We will add sign up and login features later. Right now we'll start designing the main activity. So go to activity main.xml, click on split, say hello to this hello world and delete it. We'll make it a relative layout. So you are designing you can do according to your choice but I will make a minimal design over here I will make dark application so I will add dark color for background let's go to resource values and colors here I will duplicate this add a blue dark and I will select a color something like blue but dark blue fine so this will be our dark blue go to activity main.xml and set the background to blue dark so our background will be like this give some padding from all sides 16 dp now we'll start designing first i will add a logo over here then i will add a text then i will add a menu button over here i have downloaded one logo you can see over here i have this logo i will copy this go to the project and in drawable i will paste it so here it has been added as logo.png here i will use relative layout match parent wrap content and here i will add items so first item will be image view 32 dp let's 32 dp source will be our logo so here you can see image view center vertical will be true now i will add a text so text view match parent wrap content text will be uh, let's say welcome back text color let's give white text size 24 sp and gravity will be center so that it will come in center so it will look like this now i'll add a menu button here so that we can use it for multiple purposes like logout or other option we can put over there so let's add a menu button first let's make a drawable you can download the icon as well from material icons but i will create over here new vector asset clip art let's add a menu i'll see let's add this one dh so i have found this one let's add this and i will say icon menu and let's make it a white color next finish so here i will copy this image view paste it below here i will give menu and align parent end will be true so it will come at end you can see it will look like this now so we have designed our toolbar let's minimize this relative layout now so we have the toolbar now we will design like we have categories and there will be a recycler view then we will have topic like trending classic or anything you want to add first let's add a categories view so for that what i will do i will add a scroll view because we will have multiple items over here they should scroll so let's add a scroll view match parent match parent it will take full space and let's give the id to this relative layout first let's say id toolbar and minimize this again here it should be below toolbar so that this scroll view come below this toolbar let's add margin top 16 dp now it's good this is our scroll view so inside this scroll view we will add the items 
first we should add a single item that can be relative layout or linear layout so let's add a linear layout so that everything will be vertical match parent orientation will be vertical now inside this we'll add those items so inside this linear layout first add one text view that will be our category so wrap content wrap content text will be category text color will be white text size will be 20 sp uh, let's change font family to sans serif medium uh, let's make it categories so here we will have categories of the music like bollywood english rap or podcast or any other categories we want to add we will add over here so for that we will design so what we will do here we will add a recycler view so that it will be dynamic always so recycler view we can have any number of items it will be scroll horizontally so let's make a recycler view over here uh, width we will make match parent height we will make rap content and let's give id to it that will be categories recycler view categories recycler view so here we will have the categories where we will have horizontal items so from where we'll get those item we'll get it from firebase so what we will do we will now connect the firebase first so that we will get the data so how we will connect let's go to tools firebase and then you can click on any option like right now we'll use cloud fire store so we'll use cloud fire store click on that get started connect to firebase it will launch in the browser firebase console is open let's click on add project it will detect the name click on continue you can enable analytics i will disable it create project our project is ready continue click on connect send so you can see it is connected go back to the project you can see over here it is connected now let's add cloud fire store to your app accept changes so this will add the dependency so dependency is added so what we will do now get back to the firebase console we'll open console.firebase go to your project that is music stream we have to create the database go to build fire store database create database so here you can select any location that is near to you i will select this united states click on next so here you can select start in production mode or start in test mode if you want to release it on play store you should start in production mode right now we are only testing so start in test mode click on enable so you can see our database is created so our database is created let's create storage as well so that we can add image and songs over here let's create storage get started test mode next done so our storage is also created so what we will do we are adding categories so i will show you i have some category images so you can see over here category english category hindi category podcast category rap category classic and category trending these categories i will be using so i'll upload this in storage so this will come from firebase storage that's why i will upload this go to the console I will create a folder first here. What I will do? Create folder. I will say category images, add folder, and inside this category images, I will upload file. So upload file, select everything, upload. So all the images are uploaded. If you click over here and click on this link over here, it will open that images. That means we have this link where the image is stored. So this link, if you access from anywhere, it will give this image. We will use all the URLs in our Firestore database so that we can get those URL in our application. So I will do one thing. I will open this in new tab and here. So here we have a storage here. We have Firestore. So in Firestore, I will make a collection. So let's click on start collection and give this collection name as category next now i'll add the document so what will be the categories first category let's say we have to add document id you can click on auto id over here so that it will generate automatically the id but i will make my own id that will be the name of the category so let's say english category this will be the document id it can be unique and in the field i will add first field will be name so what is the category name the same name here document id we have given i'll paste it over here so we have the one document that has english name and cover url i will add so what will the cover url so you can go over here english 
so this is the cover for english category i will copy the link from here so you can copy link from here and make the field cover url and paste it in the value in this way we have one object of category english name is english cover is this save you can see inside category we have one document that is english which has cover url and name let's add another document in category here in category i will add another document that will be let's say hindi field should be same of every category so here it should be name here it should be hindi and another field that is cover url and i will copy the hindi cover url so from here i will add the image url paste it in the value save it now we have two category let's add another category that will be let's say podcast podcast field will be name value will be podcast another field will be cover url value i will copy from here so in this way we are creating object of categories now we have three categories we will add other categories later let's get these categories in our application first so we have added name and cover url for each category let's get back to our project so first thing we will make the model class so whatever object we have created over here for that we have to map the model so let's create model class new let's create a package first it will be models and inside that models i will add kotlin class that will be data class since this is our model class we will select data class and the data name will be category model enter so we have category model class here we will add the items what items we will add you can see over here we have cover url and name just get back name string cover url string in this way we have created the model since we have only two field we have added two field over here the name should be same cover url spelling should be same so constructor this and create object with empty string in this way we have created our category model class so for reset layer view we need model class so we need one layout and we need one adapter so let's create first a layout so let's go to layout new layout resource file it will be one single item a category what we will name will name is at category item recycler row and it will be a linear layout click on ok split now here we will design the single item for category view that will be one image one text view that's it so height will be wrap content width will be wrap content let's give margin vertical as 16 dp and margin end as 16 dp so here we will add items so first item will be image view let's say 100 dp 100 dp you can change according to your size scale type let's give fit xy so that it will fit over here and id will be you can write cover image view so we have one image view we'll add image dynamically so after this we'll add a text view match parent wrap content margin top will be 8 dp size will be 18 sp let's add testing text so tools text will not be reflected in the ui that will be let's say one category that is english so it will look like this you have let's give id to this that will be name text view so we have cover image view and then we have name text view so another item will come over here another will come over here in recycler view so we have created one single row now we'll create one adapter go to our package new i will create new package that will be adapter where we will store the adapters now here kotlin class that will be category adapter so this is our category adapter so this is our category adapter we require this for recycler view so what we will do inside this class we have to create view holder class so class let's say my view holder will pass the view that will be a uh, value binding so to use the binding we have to enable binding first let's go to build at gradle in gradle scripts available build at gradle go inside android and here we'll add build features and view binding will be true so that binding will be automatically generated click on sync now now here we'll give the type of this whatever the ui we have created just now what is the ui category item recycler row so here we can see category item recycler row binding click on that now we have created the my view holder class we have to inherit it from recycler view dot view holder class so that it will be our recycler view view holder 
change to constructor invocation here we have to pass item view so binding dot root so that's it here we will bind the data with views so this we will do later for now what we will do we will complete this adapter class so this adapter will take all the category model so category list let's say list of category model it will take list of category model we'll inherit it from recycler view dot adapter where we'll pass view holder that is our my view holder and if you hover over here change to constructor and implement member we have three members click on ok so here we have three members on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so we have to implement this to make this adapter for recycler view so here get item count what we will do we have this category list will send the size of that so category list dot size so the item count will be category list dot size on create view holder we'll create the view from this item recycler bro and I pass it to my view holder so how we'll do that create binding dot inflate layout inflator dot from we need context so parent dot context the view group will be parent and attached to root will be false in this way, we will have created the binding. We will return our my view holder where we will pass the binding. So our on create view is also done. In on bind view holder, we will get each item position. So what we will do? So from here, we will call the method of this my view holder. So here, bind the data with views. I will create method bind data. Let's say here we will get single category that will be category category model. So we will call this method from on bind view holder. So holder dot bind data and from this category list we'll get the each list and we'll pass whatever the position of that category list is if it is first it will pass zero if it is second it will pass one so it will come over here here we'll bind the data so how we'll bind the data here you can see we have this text view and image view we can directly give that binding name text view dot text equals to so we will add the text of so here the text will come from this category model so category dot name so whatever the name is there in this category model that will come in this text so for image we'll do in some time so our category adapter is done we have implemented all the three members and we have created my view holder now we'll go to main activity and then we'll set up the recycler view so what we will do first i will enable binding let in it var binding activity main binding goes to activity main binding dot inflect layout inflator and we'll pass it content view as binding dot root binding is done now we'll set up the recycler view so how we will set up the recycler view first we should get the data from firebase so this is the data we'll get from cloud fire store in the collection category we have three documents so we will get these three documents and then we will set up the recycler so how we will get that let's create one method that will be get categories so here will get the categories how we'll get firebase fire store dot get instance dot collection we have the collection of category in that category collection we will get so this will return all the documents over here dot add on success listener if we are success we have the query snapshot so we'll convert this to a category model because we know in category we have category model which has name and image we'll make a category list we'll make a category list equals to it dot two objects will convert this query snapshot two objects two objects and inside this category model class dot java so that it will get all the document inside category list so once we get the category list we'll set up the recycler view so i'll create another function set up category recycler view it will take the category list that will be category list of category model so it will take the category list from here here what we'll do we'll call set up category recycler view so we'll pass category list in this method we'll get the data and in this method we will set up the recycler view so here we need adapter so let's create adapter first category adapter we'll initialize it over here equals to categories adapter so it require category list we'll pass it now we got the adapter we will assign this adapter to our recycler view so binding dot categories recycler view dot adapter equals to category adapt in this way it will assign but by default it will be vertical so let's make it horizontal binding dot category recycler view dot layout manager equals to we'll make linear layout manager where we'll pass the context uh, linear layout manager dot horizontal and reverse layout will be false so we have created linear layout manager where we have passed the horizontal reverse layout will be false 
then we have assigned the adapter to our recycler view so in this way it should work in on create method we have to just call this get categories so that it will get the categories from firebase now let's run the application and see either we are getting categories from firebase or not let's run it so yes it is working we have this category text you can see over here we have english hindi and podcast because we have added only three fields you can see english hindi and podcast that's why we have three items images we have not done anything that's why it's not visible but the data are coming from the firebase that means it is working now let's add the images so how we will do that we have the url of the image if you see over here cover url we have the url of the image from that url we have to assign it to the image view so how we will do that we can use one library that can be picasso library or glide library so i will use glide library so let's go to google and search for glide library android you can go to this bump tech and you can copy this implementation line from here copy this back to the project build at gradle here i'll paste it add in brackets click on sync now so this is downloaded now what we will do in categories adapter we have bind the name now we'll bind the image view so we have url over here and we have the image view so how we'll do that so for that i will do glide we have method glide dot width we have to pass the view let's say binding dot cover image view dot load we have the load method where we will load the data so from where we will load we will load from category dot cover url into we have into method where we will load this url into binding dot cover image view so it will take the context it will take the url and it will assign it to the cover image view let's run it and test it either it is working or not so yes the images are also loading so we have added this image that's why it is loading english in the end podcast this text is not white let's make it white let's go to our recycler row and this english text as white let's not make it full white i will add one color over here colors duplicate this make this text white let's say and i will select some gray white color for some text so it should not be completely white so this one i will go to recycler row and make it text white now if i run now it is looking good we have three categories but you can see images are square over here we'll make it some rounded corner glide provide us method so let's go to category adapter so before loading this images into our image view what we need to do is we have one method that is apply so in this we have to pass the request option so that will be request options dot transform we will add rounded corners we will add rounded corners and radius will give 32 so in this way it will have rounded corners let's see now it is looking perfect let's add one more field in the firebase so that it will be reflected over here let's go to our firebase here in collection what i will do add another document that will be let's say wrap name will be wrap field will be cover url i'll copy the wrap cover url from here copy link paste paste it in the value save now if you run the application again you can see the changes you can see the change immediately it is reflected and we have the wrap now so it is dynamic we have to just update in firebase it will reflect in our application now category is working we will add songs now so whenever we click on hindi it should show all the hindi songs so we need to add songs in our firebase storage so how we'll do that in the same way i have the songs also here i have downloaded 10 songs over here for testing so what i will do first i will upload this in the storage and create the object of those songs so how we'll do that go to firebase cloud storage here we have this category image go over here we have category image create another folder that will be songs add folder now we have the songs folder click on it and we'll upload the songs let's upload let's upload from desktop songs so i'll upload all the songs click on upload so all the songs are uploaded in the storage the same way we'll create the objects in cloud firestore so that we can access it in the application so what we will do here we have category collection start the collection of songs next now you can add songs one by one so first song let's add this one taylor swift lover so document id i will give song one 
song one we have to add the fields so what field we'll add first field will be id same it will be song one it should not be the name name will be the song's name so we'll add one more field and the field will be song title so let's give title here we'll add the song title what is the song title it is lover lover another field let's say subtitle subtitle will be the singer name or album name let's say taylor swift and another thing we require is the song url the main thing is the song url because we have to load that url in the application so from here we'll copy this url and here we'll say url and paste it over here so we have added id title subtitle url one more thing we'll add is cover image so how we'll add cover image we have to upload them in the stories and then we have to add the cover image as well so for now what i will do i will say cover url and i will not add any value as of now later we'll add this so let's give the empty value for the cover url so save it so you can see we have song one id song one subtitle taylor swift title and the url let's add another document one by one song two id song two title let's say this one satranga subtitle will be animal url will be will copy from here cover url let's give blank i will add fast you can add one by one so So in this way we have added 10 songs you should double check everything the fields name will be same on every songs cover url id subtitle title and url every fields name should be same otherwise it will give some error in our application so inside songs we have added the songs now we have to add inside the category so what we will do uh, let's open over here firestore database let's open songs over here and here we'll open the category and inside english category we will add some songs inside hindi category we'll add another songs so how we'll do that we have two fields cover url and the name now we'll add another field that will be songs so it will have all the id of the songs not the entire object of the song but just the id song one song two song three or song 10 anything so here in the collection we'll add songs type will be array so that we can have multiple songs and first type will be string so every type will be string inside the array so here a value will be let's add english songs so song one is english song song one let's go over here two is hindi three is podcast four is english four six seven and nine four six seven and nine so here four song six song seven song nine these are english songs so click on add you can see we have songs list where we have one four six seven and nine inside hindi we'll add field that will be songs we'll add array so what will be the hindi songs let's see two five two five and eight so song two song five song eight click on add inside hindi we have three songs in podcast what we will do in podcast we have ten and three so let's add field songs array song 10 and song 3 in rap we will add let's say 6 and 9 so songs array song 6 song 9 so in this way we will make the categories you can add any songs and then you can add inside the category no need to add the entire song in the category we have to just mention the id and it will be reflected so we have got the cover url and name now we'll get the list of songs so go back to the project here in category model we have to add one more field that will be songs and it will be list of string since we have the array list it will be list of string in constructor we'll pass empty list so in this way we will get the songs in our category adapter as well here we have the name we have cover url we'll get the list of song automatically so how we will check that let's log so songs let's say 
category dot songs dot size let's say if you go to log cat and see songs you can see we have four categories where we have one category has five song three songs two songs and two song so we have here five three two two in this way every songs are coming in the list so we have the song id over here we'll use that to show the list so how we'll do that on click of any items over here we will take it to another page where we'll show the list of songs so let's design that activity close everything from here let's go to our package new activity empty views activity and it will be songs list activity so we'll start designing let's go to activity songs list split let's make it linear layout orientation will be vertical let's make it background as a blue dark or let's say black background let's give black background whatever we want to give padding 16 dp from everywhere gravity will be center horizontal that's it so inside this linear layout we'll add some items so first thing we'll add is image view whatever the cover we have category it will look good english image view english and then list of song so image view 150 dp let's say 150 dp a margin will be 16 dp and id will be cover image view so here it will come below that let's add text view math parent wrap content tools text will be let's say mm, hindi text color will be white text size will be 24 sp gravity will be center and id let's give name text view same we have given in the category so here we will have one image one title and then we'll have songs list we'll add one divider so divider width will be match parent height will be 1 dp divider color will be text white let's say and margin vertical let's give 8 dp that's it now after this we'll add recycler view so recycler view match parent match parent id will be songs list recycler view so in this way when we click on one category it will open this page so let's implement that categories adapter here we'll open the activity so here what we will do start songs list activity let's say from where we will do that we need context so context equals to binding dot root dot context let's say and from binding dot root dot on click listener whenever we click on the image or text here context dot start activity intent context and it will open songs list activity class dot java so whenever we click on this it will open that activity let's run and test so whenever we click on this it has opened the another activity if we click on any item it will open but we have to pass something if we click on english it should show the english cover english and list of english songs if you click on podcast it should show the podcast so how we'll implement that for that we have to pass some data how this song list activity will get to know which has been clicked so for that what we will do here i will create one companion object so the data we will pass over here is category so variable let in it where category which will be type category model so this object we will use for this activity so here what we will do before going to the activity what we will do first songs list activity dot category let's assign this category so from this category whatever we are binding whatever we are clicking it will assign it to songs list activity category now we have the category data over here let's initialize binding binding activity songs list binding activity songs list binding dot inflate layout inflator binding dot root now here we have got the data in this category we can show it in a image view as well as in the text view so how we'll do that we have binding dot apply let's say so first thing we have binding dot name text view dot text is equal to category dot dot name so if you run it now click on it english click on it hindi so it is working so we have got the name now we will assign the image as well so for that i will just copy this glide line so this glide copy this and paste it over here same thing everything is same just run it click on english we have image and name hindi we have image and name wrap we have image and name so it is working as expected now we have to set up recycler view so that we'll get the songs list over here 
So how we'll do that for recycler view we need one layout one adapter and one model class. So first let's create model class. So here in models new Kotlin class data class it will be song model. So what data we have to add you can go over here and here in songs you can check we have ID subtitle title URL cover URL. So we'll add those. So ID string title string subtitle string URL string and we have cover URL string. So we have this five data. Let's add constructor empty 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 so we'll initialize it with empty things. Now we have the song model we have to make the layout as we have already done for category we'll do same thing. So layout new layout resource file here it will be song list split let's make this a relative layout height will be wrap content padding let's give 16 dp all sides and it will be on dark background so we will add tools background to just see background as black so it will be black background now let's add items so first item we will add is image view so here image view and the title of the song and subtitle of the song so what we will do image view and let's add 40 dp 40 dp center vertical will be true scale type will be fit xy and id will be song cover image view so here it will come after that we'll add title and subtitle for that i'll use linear layout match parent wrap content orientation will be vertical center vertical will be true margin start 16 dp so it will be after to end of song cover image view here and inside this we'll add items that will be text view so first text view match parent wrap content text size will be 18 sp let's give tools text that will be song name let's say song name for now text color will be white text style let's make it bold id will be song title text view so it will be song title let's copy this paste it below so it has not come to end of it has not come inside linear layout we have to add it inside linear layout you can see now let's copy this text view paste it we have song subtitle let's make it song subtitle text view let's remove the bold let's make it text white color tool text will be song subtitle let's say text size let's decrease it so it will look like this image song name and song subtitle so right now we'll add just three things now we have the model we have the row item let's create one adapter so in the same way we have created category adapter class songs list adapter it will be kotlin class same way my view holder here binding will be private val binding will be songs list item recycler binding it will extend from recycler view dot view holder here we'll pass binding dot root here we'll create bind data with view that will be function bind data let's say and here we'll have song since we'll get the list of id what we will do we'll do song id that will be string type and we'll bind the data over here now let's complete this adapter we'll take private val songs list ids let's say song id list and it will be list of type string inherit it from recycler view dot adapter my view holder change to constructor implement members okay so in the same way get item count will be return song id list dot size on bind view holder holder dot bind data it will be song id list position and in on create view holder binding equals to song item recycler row binding inflate layout inflator dot from parent dot context parent and false return my view holder binding we have done same things in category adapter now here we have got the song id we will not get the entire song over here we will get only the id later we will get it from firestore database so for now what we will do binding dot we have three things title cover and subtitle we will assign it to title just the id for now so we have assigned the id to the title to test either we are getting correctly or not so our adapter class is ready let's go to songs list activity and set up recycler view so here we will create one method set up song list recycler view for that we need adapter so adapter 
so songs list adapter it will be songs list adapter from where we will get the songs list so here you can see we have created companion object category dot songs will get the list of id of songs that are over here one four six seven nine in that way now now binding dot songs list recycle view dot layout manager equals to linear layout manager so it will be vertical only this and binding dot songs list recycle view dot adapter equals songs list adapter in this we will set up and we'll call this from on create method so that immediately it will load now if we run the application it should show the songs id in our application over here so let's run the application now so we have these categories let's click english you can see over here we have the list that is song id 1 4 6 7 and 9 if you go over hindi 2 5 and 8 podcast 10 and 3 rap 6 and 9 so it is working it is dynamic when we click on english it is loading the english songs that means we have the id of the songs now with that id we will get the data of the songs so inside category only we have the songs id and from that id you can get the entire data that is cover url id subtitle title url everything we'll get from this simple id that is song one if we write song one we'll get this if you write song 10 we'll get all of these things so how we'll do that for every bind data we have the id over here with that id we'll get the song so how we'll get we'll use firebase fire restore dot get instance dot collection we have the collection of songs inside that we have the document so in the songs collection we have the document so what is the document name means what is the id of the document that will be song id in this way it will pass song one then it will get this document if it pass song two it will get another document so document song id dot get dot add on success listener so here we will get that document so we'll convert it to song model so song model so song equals to e dot two object type will be song model class dot java in this way we will get the object of this song that means we will have id subtitle title and url it can be null as well so what we will do we will safe call this with apply so once we get the song from the firebase we will bind the data so binding dot song title view dot text equals to song title binding dot song subtitle text view dot text is equal to subtitle and cover image how we will add the cover image in the same way we are using glide let's go over here copy this for glide binding dot song cover image view load cover url into this song cover image view from song cover image view we will add the cover url from this song and then we load that in song cover image view if we run it now and click on any category you will get the songs that means we have got the title we have got the subtitle everything is here if you go on hindi we are getting three songs that is hindi songs so it is working fine images why it is not loading because we have not added any images so what i will do i will add images so that we can get that too so let's upload the image what i will do go to stories again so here category image songs let's add another folder that will be songs image you can make any folder name we just need the url of that so upload file so here you can see i have 10 images that are the cover images you can have your own i will upload everything so all the images are uploaded if you click on over here and click on the link it will show the image as you can see so with this url we can load that how we'll load that we we'll load in the songs so we have one fields over here if you see we have cover url that is empty for now so we'll add one by one so what is the song this is lover so i'll go to this one copy the url of that image and paste it in cover url update this one is brain hacks paste it in cover url one by one so i will do it fast now so you can see i have added all the image url that is cover url from here from storage i have added that so in the song it should get now if you click on english let's see 
so now the images are showing you can see we have the title subtitle and the image you can see over here click on back for Hindi as well we have the songs for podcast we have the images so it is working as expected we have the categories all the categories are dynamic if we click on English we have the English song all the songs are listed with the cover title and subtitle so that's all for this video in next video what we will do if we click on any songs since we have the URL of that song we will just play in another activity so we'll actually implement the media player so that when we click on any song it should play that song so that will implement it will be very exciting so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye